Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is by the horns. Number five, another pretty solid issue of the series. Now, I'll admit this one's a little bit, you know, slipped a little bit for me, but it's still, I think, a really fun series, really great concept, great characters, and this one brings a lot of emotion, but we're going to talk about why I wasn't quite as keen on this issue as the previous ones. It's still a good issue. Great series. Overall, great series. Uh, so, story direction by Marcus Inasso, art lettering designed by Jason Muir, color by Andre Tabakaru, uh, yeah, covered by Muir and, and Tabakaru. Alright, so the series is about this, uh, this woman named Elodie, uh, her husband, uh, was, uh, hurt by unicorns, we get much more details about that. She goes on a mission to kill unicorns, uh, gets dragged into this battle against evil wizards who are out to, like, just destroy... The land she lives in. Uh, so, fantasy series. The world is actually fairly interesting. It's kind of more, I would say, Final Fantasy with that like mix of tech and and uh, magic and stuff like that. Uh, so it's it's not quite high fantasy. Um, there's technology there. There's kind of like guns. There's hovercraft sort of stuff. Uh, it's really interesting, kind of everything blended together. Uh, so this issue, they're they're off to to battle one of the evil wizards. Gets kind of caught up into. Uh, uh, one of their dens, and things kind of go from there. Uh, to me, it just it's it's a lot of events that I don't think really necessarily move the story themselves together, but just feel kind of almost as filler for the couple major things that do happen in this issue. I mean, the issue has I would say two really big things about it that occur, and they're going to be major things when it comes to the actual story itself. I just think the the rest of the stuff beyond those two things feels feels a little bit filler. Like they're forgettable. They're not anything that super like super important, going to have major impact. Um, some of the art I think is fantastic, and the sequences are good, but they're not. You know, there's nothing I'm sitting there like super excited about. Let's go with that. Uh, whereas the previous issues, I feel like all the action is really memorable, really fun. Uh, the sequences kind of really matter to the end. Like, you know, she goes and battles a wizard and defeats the wizard. Like, that's pretty key. Here, it's, you know, I, it, it's kind of hard to describe. It, it feels like a little um, Temple of Doomish uh, with a uh, with a ride. With the ride, like, you know, there there's some some sequences there that are good, but at the same time, like, you know, do they really have tons of impact on the story? Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's my knock. Like, I feel like all the other issues, everything is really packed and, and everything is super important. Here, there's like two important things and most of it just kind of feels like filler. Um, but, you know, it's, it's important stuff that is going to have major impact going on for the series. So, you know, it's kind of a bridge issue in that way. Like, it, it has some, some big deals that, you know, is going to matter down the road. And the, this art, I think, continues to be really solid, really cool. Um, let's some show some of it off. You know, I love I love the design. I love the style. Here you can kind of see some of the mix of magic and, and technology. Um, but overall, like I really, really, really like this series. It's just not the strongest of issues, and that's totally fine. You know, not every issue needs to be completely amazing, blown away. Um, but I think it's still it's an entertaining issue, and for those who are reading the series, I think you're going to like some of the twists and turns that happen in this. There, there are some really great ideas, um, and there's some of the art I think is really solid. It's just one that, you know, it is what it is. So, um, the funniest is even this bad, what I'll call it a bad issue, is still way better than most of the other stuff on the shelf. Uh, out now in comic shops, so you can go get it. We got a link beneath this video from your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No comic shop, no problem. We have uh, some links underneath this video. There might be some that are affiliate links. Those affiliate links, we do get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Just by watching our video, you support us, so thank you for that. As always, if you want the latest Scout news, comic news in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.